notice is something which comes up often, especially in liveries. I get phone calls from, from people going, oh, so-and-so has cancelled their contract and they're moving their horse tomorrow and I want to keep it until they pay me notice. Um, you can't do that. The only time you can refuse to release a horse from your care is if the person who owns the horse owes you money because you then have a lien. Just like a mechanic who fixes your car doesn't have to give it to you until you've paid him, you don't have to give the horse to the person until they have paid you what they owe. Notice is not owed yet because you haven't rendered the service. So um, it's really important to put a clause in your livery contract as to what the notice period is. And generally, if there's no particular period, our courts will say it's month to month. Okay. Um, and, and what I would advise livery yards if this is a problem is instead of trying to hang on to a horse for an extra month, is just ask for one month's deposit. That's the easiest way to avoid people flitting away in the middle of the night. Yeah, I, I think and, also... and equally, if you give given notice and you want to leave, the person can't keep your horse. Hmm. So, yeah, it frees yeah. up all parties. I think yeah. also the benefits of that... Um, that one month livery, and I, I say this is, you know, I have so many friends who own yards and it's it's hard. It's hard for yard owners, as hard as it is, as it is for owners of horses to leave their precious animal in the care of someone. But they often say, you know, if someone can't, if someone falls into arrears for one month, it's very seldom that they can then make up two months. So having that mm -hmm. one month deposit in your pocket gives you 30 days to assess the situation without losing money. And to then on, you know, on the 28th or 29th of the month to say, guys, you're going to have to take this, you have to leave, you know, like. Um, and, you... and also to, to, to sometimes salvage relationships because things do happen. You know, somebody has a massive bill that was completely un, they were completely unprepared for. And they say, listen, I'll, I'll, I'll replenish my deposit at the end of that month. It gives you the opportunity to do that, you know. Yards that are so reliant on livery that they can't afford to to let a horse go mm. um, probably shouldn't be operating. Mm. 